here today to show you how easy installation of your American Brother design handles on your new cruise will be. Uh, we've got our scissors, 364 Allen wrench, small screwdriver, and a T20 Torx driver, along with our new handles and instructions. The first step is to go open the driver's side door, locate the plastic grommet. Torx driver, get it inserted into the T20 screw inside the door, and as we hold out on the handle, begin to loosen the screw. The screw will not come out of the door, but will move a sliding retainer inside of the door. From time to time, check, and when the handle will hold open on that retainer, you can go ahead and let go of the handle and continue to loosen while you now begin to pull out on the lock. It will begin to come out and eventually slide right out of the door. Once it does that, stop turning the torque screw. Set the lock mechanism aside for later. And you should now be able to move the handle out of the door, gently close on it, and maneuver it free from the front. And then from the back, be careful not to scratch your door. From there, we're going to take this plastic grommet and work it free from the handle to be used with our new handle. Set the stock handle aside. Take the plastic grommet and cut off these two alignment tabs so that they're about approximately one eighth of an inch long. Now take the alignment or the plastic grommet, line it up on your new handle just the same way that it came off of a stock handle. Make sure it catches in the back there and then it should clip into the front here and now it's properly attached. We can take the new handle, slide it into the door opposite of the way the stock handle came out. So we're going to do the reverse first. The back part of it went in first, the front part goes in second. And now it's in the correct position there. We'll leave it again so that it's slightly open. Come back to your key lock. Take your small screwdriver and you'll have to pry where there's a couple of tabs to get the plastic piece off of the lock. Usually right in the back is the best place to start and there's also two on the side and if you go to one of those it'll lightly pop off there. Take your new cover line it up on the piece, snap it into position, and now tighten the Allen screw provided with your 364 Allen wrench until it holds the part secure. You also want to make sure as you're doing your other doors that that screw will be on the bottom once installed on the car. So there's definitely a passenger and a driver's side for that piece. You'll also notice that the other pieces on the car do not have a lock hole, but they'll go on in just the same fashion. Once you have that installed on the, on the lock piece, you can now slide it back into the door, get your T20 torch driver. You may have to loosen again or tighten if you slightly pass the position that allowed it to come out of the door. Once it goes in flush, you can hold it in with one thumb there, hold out on your handle, and tighten the torque screw. Never apply too much pressure to the torque screw. Continue to feel for when the handle will fall back into place. Continue to tighten the torque screw until you feel light resistance. Again, just a couple of fingers is enough to, to turn it far enough. And you're done with that part. Now verify that the handle will open and close, works properly when the door is open. Go ahead and close the door, verify function by opening the door. Installation is now complete, just reinstall your rubbed plastic grommet in the end of your door. 